Lisa Briggs for the Bruce Company is here taking your calls at 270-9933. Happy meteorological spring. Thank you. Same to you. <laughs> and you got some flowers, spring flowers here? I do. We got some hyacinths. Remember last week we had that big purple, the Campanula? Mm -hmm. This is the same genus. So same plant, just a different form. And a pencil cactus because I have a soft spot in my heart. My mother had a six footer. So when people call and ask, talk about those plants that they've had forever and how big they are, I always think of pencil that'll cactus. Get, that'll get six feet? My mom's was six feet. Well. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the phones. It happens. We'll start with Nancy from Milton. Hi, Nancy. Hello. How Hi. are you today, Mark? We're doing, we're doing great. What's your question? Okay. Sorry. I have a peace lily, and the tips of the leaves are turning brown. Okay, Nancy, that's usually one of two things with a peace lily. So sometimes it's draft. Peace lilies like um, a warmer spot, and if you have it by a door or a window maybe that you've opened on the past couple of nice days, uh, so it could be draft. Also, sometimes they're a little bit sensitive to city water. So when you water it, let your um, put your water in a bucket or a pitcher or something and let it settle for 24 hours so that the salts and, and added to the water will sink to the bottom or you can use rainwater or well water or something distilled. That should help. Okay, let's go to Tina in Baraboo. Hi, Tina. Hi, I have two hibiscus trees and um, I brought them in for the winter and they seem to have like, seem like they're, do they're dead. But I wanted to know if I, how I could maybe prune them back or trim them back and maybe the, the roots might still be good. Let me ask you a quick question. Did they have big flowers in hot colors like yellow or orange or smaller flowers that were like blue or soft pink? No, the large. Okay, so those are the tropical ones. So bringing it inside was the right thing to do. Um, hibiscus are really sensitive to low light. And oftentimes, even if you had it in a really sunny spot in your house, it's not sunny enough. Give those twigs, the um, the ends, a little bend and see if they're flexible. And if no, they are... they're not anymore. They're, so what I would do is prune it back to where you see um, green tissue underneath the bark and mm -hmm. just keep your fingers crossed and see if some buds will pop. Now that days are longer, you should start seeing some active growth. It would be okay to give it some fertilizer and mm -hmm. to step up your watering. Okay, thanks for calling. Let's go to Jenny in Barneville. Hi, Jenny. Hi, I just have a question about starting herbs from seeds. What are the best ones to start that you have the best luck with? Well, the easiest ones to start are the ones that tend to be more annual here. So cilantro, um, a basil, that kind of thing. Um, the more perennial herbs like thyme, the woody things, are will take a little bit more time. I would say that one thing you ne can never start from seed are any of the mints. Only spearmint is from seed. All the other mints, like the fancy mojito mints or peppermints, those are all cut from tissue cuttings or grown from tissue cuttings. So those you'll have to buy as plants. A lot of people have a little herb garden in their, in their kitchen. Yes, they do. And it's good during the winter, but they really would rather be outside. Really? Yes, especially the ones that are easy to grow from seed. They get white fly pretty easily. Can you start any other seeds now or is it too early? You can start super hot, hot peppers. You can start any of the cold weather veg, like things from the broccoli or cabbage family. You can start inside um, onions, so like leeks or bulbing onions, and then any of the perennial flowers. So you, you can get break out those seed trays. Uh, good. We made it. <laughs> Hopefully. It always happens. <laughs> it happens. All right, we're out of time. If you're on the line, stay there. At least we'll talk to you off the air. We'll see you next week. Indeed. And